Jody Dover has brought upwards of 25 books to the district's attention since February. She calls these particular two books obscene and extremely inappropriate for high schoolers. The two books tonight were actually started the reconsideration process in May of 2023. So it's taken 10 months to go through the full process as outlined in policy. Jody Dover says for nearly a year, she's been fighting to remove Jesse Andrews, me and Earl and the dying girl and the haters from the shelves of the Lake Travis High School Library. Both are young adult coming of age novels and are on the school board's agenda tonight for discussion of possibly being banned. And that fun story highlights acts of oral sex, masturbation, bestiality, and sexual intercourse. You begin to question why those topics are, are addressed in a book that's available to a minor on a public school campus. This is the second time this year the board has voted on whether to remove a book from its school libraries. The way the district's book challenge policy works is first a parent has to bring the concern to a staff member. If they're not satisfied with how it's addressed, it then goes before a parent review committee. The parent can then appeal the committee's decision and it goes to the school board, which is where things stand tonight. Parents like Dover say the books aren't age appropriate and sexually explicit and vulgar. Others like Bethany Hegedus say that by making a mountain out of a molehill, it's only driving kids to want to get their hands on the books even more. We're raising the awareness of these books that people are calling graphic and vulgar and problematic. She says book banning has become a trend at Lake Travis ISD. Dover says it's not a banning at all. Focus, focusing our schools on age appropriate curriculum and age appropriate library materials does not take these books out of circulation. The last meeting, one student walked to the meeting to be able to speak because his parents wouldn't drive him. We reached out to Lake Travis ISD. In an email, the district said because of the pending grievance, they are unable to comment at this time. In Lake Travis, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.